I know it's not the time to call, but I'm right here, 24-7 right now, right here. Full House star Dave Coulier is sharing a touching message from his late friend and co-star Bob Saget, who passed away in 2022 at 65 years old. On a recent episode of Dave's Full House Rewind podcast, the actor was joined by Bob's widow, Kelly Rizzo, and he closed out the episode playing a heartfelt voicemail the beloved actor left to him to offer condolences and support when Dave's brother Danny took his own life in 2021. Before playing the message, Dave addressed the audience. The biggest hugger I ever knew was Bob Saget. He hugged everyone, and if you were going through a tough time, Bob was there for you. When my brother Danny took his own life in 2021, Bob was the first person who called me and left a voicemail. It was an audio hug. I love Bob and he loved me too. And I'd like to close this episode by playing that voicemail message that Bob left for me. Maybe someday you can pass along the same kind of compassion to someone you love. The Full House alum then went on to share Bob's heartfelt voicemail. I know it's not the time to call, but... I'm right here, 24 seven right now, right here. I love you, Dave. I'm so sorry, Dave. I love him, I'm so sorry. So I'm here, I'm here 24 seven. Just call me anytime. Doesn't have to be now, to be a week, whenever. I, I can just talk to you and listen. I love you so much. During the episode, Kelly and Dave reminisced about the late comedian and also spoke about the couple's relationship. You know, we were all so happy when you came into Bob's life because he wasn't a happy camper. He really wasn't. And I mean, you were the perfect person for him. And you were always just kind of the the right amount of um, calm and composure to kind of balance Bob's frenetic pace, you know, because he was... You know, he he was a little, a little tough. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I mean, you know, I probably haven't said it enough, but thank you for being that presence in my friend's life, you know, because it was so wonderful to be a part of that and to see my friends so happy. And and you gave that to him. So, so thank thank you. you. Kelly also shed light on how she stayed close with Bob's daughters and how they're all moving forward. It's so special. And it's the thing in life at this moment that I'm the most grateful for mm-hmm. to have them. I mean, they're, you know, I mean, you've known them since before they were born, um, but they are angels, absolute yeah. angels on this earth. And I could not be more grateful for them. Kelly previously shared how the trio was so supportive of her next chapter, telling Access Daily's Kid Hoover in January that Bob's girls all gave her their blessing to start dating again. Okay, Indeed. should we sample over here? We should. Um, and is it true that Bob's daughter gave you the blessing to move on, find a companion yeah, again? Yeah, they, they did a, a, a while ago. They they gave me their blessing to do so, and that was, like, super, super important to me. So, uh, What a nice thing. Yeah. Oh, look at that picture right there. Oh, oh wow, I Kelly, know, that's great. Best. Would you be ready for that? Are you open or still not ready? Um, I am actually currently seeing somebody... We're, this yes. is wonderful. He's very, very wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody, we need applause. The whole please. control applause. room just said, "Oh!" in my Thank ear. You. Yes, Wait, he's Kelly, very, I'm very so lovely. happy Thank for you. you. Thank you. What, look at everything kind of coming back into place. This I is know, wonderful. Right? I yeah. love this. And, uh, it's been it's been very nice so far. So thank you. But what do you think? First of all, it's incredible. You're incredible. Thank and just you. in the podcast, by the way, you're also host of Eat Travel Rock TV. What's your next adventure? Oh gosh, going to Mexico for a friend's wedding next month, and then Japan this year for some work stuff, and then um, Spain. Oh my God! Yeah, so gonna be bouncing around. Gonna be bouncing around.